hello everyone welcome to my video again and in this video today i will show you the perfect wordpress website checklist and this video is going to be dealing with the necessary things you need to put together you need to put in place so that you have a very perfect wordpress website design at the end of the day and um, this is actually a rundown checklist a go through checklist for your wordpress website and i know that you are going to gain massively from this video so make sure you watch from the beginning to the end so that you can grasp everything that i have for you in this video my name is damila Rioladeli, and um, without further ado let's go ahead in the tutorial the first thing you need to ensure that you put together whenever you want to host a WordPress website or any website is that you need to get your domain name settled, all right? The domain name is the name that people will use to access your website. Your domain name is like your shop address. And um, if you are looking for examples of domain name, an example of a domain name would be www.google.com, yandex.com, yahoo.com, and so on and so forth, right? So that is a domain name. And the next thing on my list is the choice of a perfect web host, okay? Hosting services are very much essential in such a way that if you do not have a hosting service, it will not be possible for you to make people access your website from any location that they might want to view from, from any part of the world. So you have to choose a good hosting services and there are many things you get to consider when you want to choose a perfect hosting services for yourself you have to check their uptime you have to check if their server is in the area where your website will be needed most you have to check the review the testimonies that people have given about them i mean their users you are not the first person that will use their service all right so you have to know what you're doing and choose a very perfect web hosting service onto yourself. All right, that is that about choice of a perfect web host. The next thing you need to consider is to choose your brand color and the brand font and brand assets. Okay, so this is in the category of brand assets and um, it is very much important for you to choose your website color and your website font based on the brand that you are dealing with many a times when you are working with established organizations who oh, they must have gotten all these things in place even before they begin to think of having a website and well if they don't have them in place yet that is the work of a brand strategist and a brand strategist will help them to create a very perfect logo very perfect brand color that represents the organization and um, they are going to have what we call brand assets and the brand assets include the brand font types font weight font size and so on and so forth so it is very important for you to plan all these things ahead before you ensure that your website or the websites for the organization is being created so that things will not be done haphazardly all right So having talked about the brand color and brand fonts, the next thing we're going to consider is the brand asset. Yes, I made mention of this briefly the other time while I was talking about the brand color. Yes, it is not just enough to have color and fonts. You must ensure that you have brand assets and the brand assets will be videos that are talking about the uh, organization. It can talk about the letterhead so that you know things about the brand we can talk about the logo here and it's very important there are some images that could serve as gallery items that might be particular to each organization so these are the things you have to ensure that you gather before you begin your website design journey with any organization or with any brand the next thing that you must ensure to put in place is that you gather enough information for the website you want to create it is not just enough to install wordpress and begin to design something from the blue moon part of the things you ensure is to understand the reason behind the design of the website that you want to 
work on you don't want to create something just to copy other people you know you have to ensure that you understand the mind of the organization the reason for them having a website and you have to follow through to ensure that their desires for their website is being fulfilled for example there are some organizations that they will want to enable the booking function on their website these are the things that you must ensure that you plan ahead before you create their website and the next on my list is that you source and create images and banners if you are not a good graphic designer in this regard you can actually outsource a professional to help you in doing this all right it's not compulsory that you be the one to do everything yourself and there are actually tools that are available to do these tasks for you okay if you are not good in graphic design you can always go to canva.com to ensure that you gather resources or your website just ensure that you know the size of what you are looking for and you know a exact look of what you want in your mind and then you can actually go for it and if you know you don't want to undergo the stress yourself outsource a very professional graphic designer to get the work done for you and that is gonna settle it and the next on my list is that you create videos and upload them to video hosting platforms yes there are many websites are uh, owners that will demand that you upload videos for them they want to have videos on their website but this is going to hit deep into your hosting plan this is actually particular about those who do not have much space on their web hosting services and they want to maximize resources and yet they want to have their media files on their website you can consider uh, a third-party video hosting platforms for them and examples of this include in youtube we have google drive we have twitch we have vimeo okay some of you don't know that you can actually upload video on vimeo and then embed such a video on your website so as to conserve resources and spaces on your hosting services it is actually good that you consider this external video hosting services all right and that takes us to the very next point which is to plan your layout and your structure for websites okay everything that you're gonna put together to make a website includes images includes videos includes text and these are going to be combined in the right proportion and using the right arrangements to make up your website so you have to plan the structure of your website you have to think about where you're going to put your header your navigation your footer and then how these things are going to look the items that you're going to put together that will make your website aesthetically look beautiful all right and having talked about the structure and the plan of your website the next item on my list is to install WordPress well this is actually dependent on what CMS you are going to use for those of you who doesn't know CMS CMS means content management system and we have different CMS we have Joomla we have Drupal we have WordPress all right we have Shopify and we have host of others so the particular one I'm focused on here is WordPress WordPress is one of the most popular cms we have in the world and it powers more than 40 percent of all the websites on the internet space so you should consider wordpress if you are not already a wordpress designer all right so having installed wordpress the next thing you need to do is to choose a wordpress theme and install it yes you might consider uh the fact that there are many themes there are numerous themes on the wordpress library for your wordpress repository but the choice of your theme will be dependent on the type of website that you want to do make sure that you choose a theme that is compatible with the purpose of the website you want to design you don't want to choose a theme that will not support the features that you are going to enable on your website so make sure you choose a theme that is consistent with the brand and consistent with the purpose of the website that you are looking forward to build and the next on the list is that you add texts and images and slideshows and photos and 
speech and the videos and galleries and maps all right these things make your website look great okay without text you cannot claim to have a website and without images your website might not look good so images slides shows videos photos maps and all these things they make your website look good so they are very good but ensure that you don't overuse each item use them in the right proportion combine them appropriately and your website is going to look great so the next thing on our list is that you install and configure plugins for additional functionality there is almost nothing you want to do on a wordpress website today that you cannot already do by the use of right plugin but you have to ensure that you get the right functional plugin to get the function enabled for you so you think of the plugin that will do that thing that you had in mind and then you get it done by the plugin all right and the next on my list is that you add google analytics okay you want to know how to install google analytics you can quickly make a research on the internet you can search on google how you can enable google analytics but the basic way you get to do this is to install a simple plugin called site kit for google all right you install that plugin on your wordpress website and this is going to allow you to connect your website to google services all right like google analytics and um, and other stuff all right that is going to enable you to track the number of visitors and the location of visitors and other metadata other statistics about your website visitors okay and that takes us to the next point check your website look on different browsers and different websites and that is going to enable you to check how your website looks on different website browsers and different devices and this is exactly what will referred to as mobile responsiveness or device responsiveness okay there are many websites that looks great when they are being checked on a laptop but they do not look good when they are checked on the mobile phone and one of the things you must have in mind is the fact that most of your website users will use a mobile device they will access your website from a mobile device so you don't want to design a website that will not be functional on the mobile phone so these are the things you need to put in place and a golden rule for this is that you choose a thing that is highly mobile responsive okay choose a thing that is mobile responsive and one of the things that i know that is highly mobile responsive is the astra team okay i may not be able to talk confidently about other website teams other wordpress teams but astra team is highly mobile responsive and mind you they didn't pay me for this advertisement i'm just recommending it based on my usage of the team over the years all right having talked about that i'm going to move to the next point optimize your website for search engines there are many people who think after installing wordpress and after designing the website they are done with their job well a wise website owner will ask you to help him or her do what you call search engine optimization on their website because they know that after they have a website the discoverability of the website is actually essential so you ensure that you optimize your websites for search engines and we have different search engines we have DuckDuckGo, we have bing we have google we have yahoo and do you even know that we have pinterest Many people don't know that Pinterest is also serving as a search engine, okay? Pinterest is not just for you to view pictures and videos. It is also a search engine on its own and it's very powerful, okay? It is a very great source of traffic for many websites. So you should consider optimizing your websites for these platforms. But the most popular search engine that people use in my own country is Google. So you consider plugins like rank mat um all in one seo and also yoast seo if you are using wordpress for your website okay and the next point is gonna be 
back up this is highly important okay you don't want to lose your website to theft you don't want to lose your website to hackers and you don't want to lose your website because of carelessness you have to ensure that you back up your websites and you do this on schedule you do it occasionally you don't just do it once and for all and you forget about it you make sure you do it occasionally okay we have two types of backup we have the cloud backup which is the best option for you and we have the local backup the local backup will make you to download your website file and store it on your local computer while the cloud backup could be done could be automated using different plugins you can use premium plugins and if you are thinking of a very free plugin that you can use to get this done i will recommend updraft backup plugin for you okay you are going to see the link of the plugin under the comments below okay and having talked about backup that is going to bring us to the very end of this video and um, i know you have learned so much about the things that you need to check and ensure before you design your wordpress website so having talked about this there are other videos on this channel that will help you to scale your business and to trend on the online space to establish a strong online presence for you and your business and um, i appreciate you for staying through to this video if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly consider subscribing onto this channel and also make sure you hit the notification bell also as to get notified as soon as i upload a new video i remain myself and i'm gonna see you in another video on this channel thank you